Visco. Hi everyone, welcome to Visco. Today I'm going to show you how to create a DDNS by using TP-Link Omada router. First, before we start, you need to have a domain. For this one, I'm going to use no IP domain. So first thing is you need to create an account. For this one, I already create an account. So so let's log in into my account. Once log in, you it will bring you to the dashboard. Click on host names, create host name, enter your host name, select your domain. You can choose from the following options. For this one, I'm going to use ddns.net. Click create host name. Now you have successfully created a domain to set up the DDNS. Now we can configure the DDNS. For this one, I'm going to configure the DDNS for my MVR so that I can view the MVR from anywhere in the world without worrying changes to my IP since it's already fixed. So to start, open your TP-Link or Mada Router web page, enter your TP-Link Router, So it will bring you to the router dashboard. So before we configure the DDNS, first thing is you need to configure the port forwarding for the MVR. So to configure the port forwarding, go to settings, transmission, NAT, and the port forwarding, click create new rule, enter the port forwarding name, enter the source port, the MVR IP address, the destination port. For destination port, you can use other than 80, but for this one, I'm going to use 80. Click create. Now you have successfully created the port forwarding settings for the MVR. Now we can configure the DDNS. So to configure the DDNS, go to services, go to dynamic DNS, click create new dynamic DNS entry. For service provider, select no IP, for interface, select one if you create your network to the one port. Enter your no IP username. Enter your no IP password. Enter the domain name that you have just created just now. For update interval, I would recommend one hour so that the router will ping the domain server every one hour to make sure the connection is stable. Click create. Now you have successfully created the DDNS for your router. So to check whether this DDNS works or not, you can log in your MVR by using this DDNS. Now since we already done the configuration for the DDNS, you can simply log in into your MVR by using the domain name. For example, open any web browser, enter the domain name, with port 80 or any port that you have configured press enter then it will bring you to your MVR so for this one I can log into my MVR and I can view and configure my MVR from anywhere in the world so that's how you configure the DNS by using TP-Link Omada Router thank you everyone